What's going on this week in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and this week you might notice something a little uh, different about me. I'm an elite dart. Uh, Foam Fest raised enough money that I uh, was challenged to dye my hair, and hopefully that's not too distracting. Let's do the news! Workers being weird again. Uh, they recently released this body kit for the Hurricane, and I'm not sure if it's called the Barbarian or Manu. It has different names in different places, so there's clearly a translation error at some point. I'm not sure what the real name for it is. But this four-piece body kit goes on top of the Hurricane Blaster, and it allows for top-loading mags, which is a really cool feature that some people in our community have already been doing, so clearly it's a desirable feature. And a, it allows for a stock attachment point which I personally wouldn't use, but I could definitely see that being a pro for some people. The overall look of it, like aesthetically, it's, it's funky, but at least it has an interesting shape, unlike the base blaster when the Hurricane was originally unveiled. I thought that it was a prototype that we were getting like a sneak peek of. I didn't realize that was the final blaster. So at least it's got some character to it. I much prefer this over the base shape of the blaster. And this body kit is available for $40. The super weird part is the extended battery tray. It's a two-piece extension that just juts right down out of the handle and makes it look super long and weird. <laughs> it will allow for larger batteries and make two-stage setups a little more accessible, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> Hopefully it's at least functional. That's another $10 for the tray. Overall, the kit looks funky. <laughs> I don't know what workers doing sometimes, but uh, creative. We'll call it creative. A while back, Nerf showed off a Post Malone Percy's that was not available to the public. But this next crossover blaster will be. This is the Cactus Jack Fortnite AR Goosebumps, and it's kind of an interesting crossover. Travis Scott is a rapper who had a concert inside of Fortnite, and while I don't particularly like playing Fortnite or listening to rap, I watched a bit of footage from this concert and it legitimately seemed like a really cool experience. It's a very clever way to have a concert, especially in times like these. and. It's just, it's just neat. It's just interesting. And this blaster with this crazy heat map pattern came out of that. And I don't understand why there are so many repaints, and I'm sure there's many more coming in the future. But this one is $65 from Travis Scott's web store, uh, available on pre-order, and that'll ship in October. I wonder how many more reprints there will be for blasters like this. And speaking of repaints, some influencers received a box of Ripley repaints, and it's a pretty cool paint job. It's going to be on the AR, the rocket launcher, and the silence pistol, and it's a really cool clear purple to solid teal fade. I know I'll definitely be picking up at least the rocket launcher, because it's legitimately a really cool reskin. They're going to be released in May for a limited time only at Best Buy. We talked a little bit about the Bulwark last month. It's a Hurricane flywheel powered, full auto 3D printed blaster. It's got top load, it looks incredibly ergonomic, and the feeding design is really, really interesting. And now the files are available for purchase on Jackrabbit Nerfer's Etsy. Those are going for $25 and you'll receive the STLs. It does require a minimum print bed size of 225 by 145 by 150 millimeters. I think that's doable for most people with printers. And if you want to know more about this blaster, check out episode 62 where I went into detail about how it works. It's really a cool blaster and I can't wait to have my own in my hands. Michelle has already gotten the files for the blaster. I'm excited. Mr. Heath Pants made a thing. This is a vector blaster replica and it looks pretty close to a real steel vector. It uses hurricane wheels and either honey badgers or over overvolted fangs to power it. It's also got a solenoid as the pusher and in Mr. Heath Pants' own words, it's very fun to use and quite ergonomical, but a pain in the ass to build and requires a big printer. 
There's also no instructions included in this one, so if you download the files and try to build it yourself, just be aware it'll be a, an adventure. Captain Slug is at it again. <laughs> in his quest to leverage the power of strings instead of springs, he has created a lever action stringer, and this is called the Hyper. We've been following this process for a couple of weeks now. He showed us the original version, the first printed version, and several revisions, and essentially it's a lever action jolt with a bigger plunger tube. And what's really cool about it is there's several different ways you can configure the strings and how you string it, and that'll give you different performance levels, so 65, 75, or 90 FPS depending on how you put it together, and I think that's pretty darn cool. It is compatible with half lengths and works even better with them if you shorten the barrel and use an alternate plunger design. And we thought this was really cool and liked it so much that we uh, bought the first several before they even were officially on sale. <laughs> but it is available now uh, for download on Thingiverse or on his Etsy page. Um, the hardware kit is the same as the Whisper and the full complete printed blaster set will be available today, Monday, right now, probably as I'm talking. Go get it, why are you here? And now it's time for the mod of the week. This week it comes from Shane Ori from Nerf Cosmetic Modders Welcome. This is a Pulsator and Rhino Fire integration, and I have never seen a Pulsator integrated like this before. I love that he kept the moving barrels. That's so freaking cool. It's all rewired for 2S LiPo, and it just looks like it was pulled straight out of Star Wars. Especially the off-center handle, the paint theme, the dirt and grime, and a lot of times people make dirt too even, but this is really well distributed. It looks organic and I I get such a resistance vibe from the paint scheme. It's and the blasters are such a perfect fit for an integration. I don't know how no one thought to do this before. It's awesome. Thanks so much for sharing. And that's all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, all the links to the things I talked about are in the description, along with a like and a subscribe button. I would appreciate that so very much. And I will see you again next week, uh, Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific. And that's, that's the news. Time to zoom out of here. I almost fell. The box I stood on moved. My hair is doing weird things. From Cos <laughs> From Nerf Cosmetic Water Mod Nerf Cosmetic Modders Welcome. Nerf Cosmetic Modders Welcome. Nerf Cosmetic Modders Welcome. Those are some really good 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 ideas. Good. So I assume full auto. I don't know why I need to assume that. <laughs> Captain Jack, Cactus Jack. And there's also the comments. I wanted to ask you to do something in the comments. I don't remember. Zoom! Zoom! I guess I should do it one more time because maybe, maybe it was good, maybe it wasn't. Zoom! 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 Yep, that'll do. That'll do. I did a zoom.